Hello my fellow seeds and welcome back to another episode of Tug. My name is Josiah and today we are standing in front of the battle arena. Not long after building this place I realized, where would you respawn if you died in this arena? Well, if you were in multiplayer, you would spawn in a bed. I have chosen to make a village with a mushroom theme. And once multiplayer is online and available in Tug, that is where I will place the beds for all those wishing to duke it out in the arena. Today, we will explore my progress in the construction of that village. To start off, we're going to explore the cliffside apartments. I made a video not too long ago showing how to make one of these mushroom homes, and not long after I got a suggestion via Twitter to connect all the existing homes with a linking cave system. And here it is, the cave system as it is so far. I've done a little bit of decoration with the glowing red and purple mushrooms, but I would like to decorate it just a little bit more. I don't want to clutter up the passageways too much, but I would like to add some sort of rail system so you can't fall off the edge. And don't mind that little sneak peek you just saw, that's for later. As you can see, each villa is accessible through the tubes. I'd also like to point out that sometimes the passageways within the mountain can be a little bit confusing. What I mean by that is when I was building them, it was actually very hard to figure out where I was in relation to each mushroom villa on the side of the cliffs. When I was building inside the mountain, I didn't know if I was getting closer to them or further away from them, and I wanted each passageway to be viewable from the outside, so I really had to do a lot of trial and error whenever building these tubes. And here we are at the very topmost mushroom apartment. And as I said before, each tunnel is actually visible from the outside. You can see that because all the red and purple dots all along the tunnels. It's kind of hard to see right now because I haven't lined the tunnels with any different color type of material, but I will hopefully put in the railing system in the future. And now we get to view the newest part of the build. This is actually the pathway to the arena, this little tunnel here. If I turn around, you'll actually see the newest area that I've added onto this mushroom town. Now what I'm going to do is actually change the time to zero and turn it night because this place actually looks best when it's dark because almost every single plant I've put down here glows. Ooh, you can hear those ancient stone crafting tables really humming away there. Now two things I'd like to explain about this particular area is one, somebody has asked me on Twitter, are these supposed to be houses? Are they going to be for players? Actually the answer is something else entirely. There is a creature in the game of Tug, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher this name completely, but I think they are called Kinokogins? Kinokogins? Something along that line? Essentially they are little creatures with stones in their backs, it's located close to their necks. What they do is, if you're playing in Tug, they'll giggle and chuckle and make all sorts of creepy sounds, actually. But they go around and they plant mushrooms, so I made essentially the entire theme of the town around mushrooms. Now, obviously, these behind me, these little mushroom pieces, are not actually going to house players. These are essentially my rendition and my viewpoint of what a Kinokujin house would look like if the Kinokujin actually bothered to make houses. Uh, you'll notice above me that the gourd torches, which are new to this in-development version of the game, I actually just took those and put them right up through the tops of the mushroom because I figured, hey, if you got a torch and you're a tiny little person and you're trying to create a light source in your hometown, you know, what would be the easiest way to actually stick those onto a mushroom? It's like, well... You just stick them inside the mushroom, and since a mushroom simply acts like a sponge, they'd probably stay there anyways. And in my opinion, it actually makes a very awesome effect on the mushroom. The second thing I wanted to point out is that no, these again are not going to be homes. This is more of a garden type area. You can see the villas are actually just up there, little apartments out there. And those are just going to be looking down on this area. It's just going to be a garden, but I am going to actually have a path that leads from here, near the tunnel, all the way up the cliff into the mushroom apartments. And if I've got time, I'm also going to put 
different types of mushroom homes for actual players all along the edges of the garden. Now let's say you are actually walking through this garden. You may notice something interesting just over here. There's a little access ramp and actually if you go up this you will actually come to a platform at the very top of the tree. And here we are. I noticed originally when I placed the tree here that there was already a little bit of a platform and I'm not sure why that is but I think it's a huge opportunity for a lot of people to make some pretty awesome tree houses in the game of Tug. And I noticed also that there was kind of a hollow area in the middle top of the tree and so I decided to just put a few crystals there. And I think that actually looks pretty cool although they do give off fairly annoying sound. But it works as a light source. This build did take a long time, especially this ramp coming up the tree, but the only reason I was even able to create it is because originally in Tug we only had square blocks and you had to jump up any kind of staircase you created. Now we have blocks that actually curve and grip and pull terrain. It did take a long time and it was really hard to figure out the logistics of it, but I was finally able to make a ramp that you could actually walk up and not have to jump up. This is actually a very recurring theme in all of my builds because I hate having to jump up staircases. I may also add some more foliage to the garden just to flush out where the path really is. You can kind of see it from a bird's eye view where all the cobblestone is actually laid out on the ground, but when you're walking through the foliage is kind of sporadic. So I may add a little bit more just to redefine where the path is. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to comment below the video if you have any suggestions on what I should build next in this world. Leave a like if you liked the video, and subscribe to show your support for the channel. My name is Josiah, and I will see you guys next time. Mushrooms! Oh yeah! I kind of wish that in Tug there was some sort of mechanic that whenever you jumped on a mushroom it would bounce over to the other mushrooms. Almost like a bouncy trampoline transport system.